Taoiseach. <coughs> the, um, the next two weeks, people before profit, as will others, will be doing everything to urge people to get out, and there are many thousands on the streets of Dublin on Saturday week for the Raise the Roof housing protest. One of the uh, components of that protest will be uh, people in places such as Tahani House, uh, another multi-unit apartment complex in Rathmines, uh, St. Helen's Court in my own constituency, uh, all places where landlords are uh, threatening, attempting to implement mass evictions for people who've done absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, and indeed many individuals uh, who are also facing evictions, who've done nothing wrong whatsoever, who are not, some of whom are not protected by your deferment of certain notices to quit, uh, a bill that passed uh, recently, uh, or who faced the imminent prospect of homelessness. Um, now, under pressure, your government has sort of conceded, in, uh, in theory, uh, that local authorities could intervene to stop people being evicted and purchase uh, these complexes or individual homes. In practice, all the excuses are coming out, uh, in many cases, from local authorities. One of the big excuses that's been heard now by Owen Ke or been uh, enunciated by Owen Keegan, for example, is, oh, not everybody in there is on the social housing list. They're above the threshold, so we couldn't possibly intervene uh, to buy the property. And many others are in Time that situation up, as well. Will you do something about preventing people being made homeless by ensuring that properties Deputy, are bought please, and that the fact up. that people are over thresholds is not an impediment uh, to such purchases. Deputy, Paul Deputy, Deputy Boyd Barrett raised a similar issue in terms of tenants in situ. Um, and again, the, the, it, it seems that Deputy, Deputy Boyd Barrett is basically saying the local authorities should be automatons, they should just do what they're told <coughs> across housing. I'm not sure that's the right policy. I'm not so sure councillors on the ground would appreciate that approach. There has to be some delegation of authority to local authorities. But what we can do is resource local authorities, which the Minister has done on the housing front, to increase their capacity to deliver housing projects in the first instance, and also have the necessary resources to intervene, to intervene, to intervene in relation to issues that arise within their jurisdiction. Now, in terms of income thresholds, there is an issue around income thresholds. Of course there is. There has to be an issue around that, and it needs some mechanism to resolve. There's no point in saying there's not an issue, because a lot of people with lower income thresholds who can't get housing. So the resources have to be, uh, there has to be a targeting of resources too. We just can't go in one direction only. Like every local authority has resources. It's got to allocate those resources to different schemes. Uh, and that, that makes, you know, but again, there should be ways of intervening to prevent what's going on in the particular a case that you've identified, and I know the Minister has been in touch with you and has engaged with you um, in relation um, to that. And again, we have banned evictions, um, more generally, um, across the system until the end of March. That has happened. That, le that legislation has been brought in. in